Stars and Stripes RC here. Hope you can hear me. I've got Skyler here with uh, getting his balloon ready to go up. Uh, I was just told that it takes about 40 hours to cut and sew and put one of these together and uh, then another I forget how many 40 hours to build the basket for them going to see how long it exactly takes from start to in the air here so this may be a little bit of a long video really nice looking balloon here Skylar has it's a uh, that the green the green on it is one of my favorite colors you see there got the paint going filling it up with hot air it's a large balloon So I'm about two minutes into and it doesn't take that long actually to get it to get it up on the ground. Really cool. What I can see of the transmitter, you use the throttle to ignite the to ignite the burners. Get the pilot light, color, uh, left stick, left down. There you go. It's a real overcast day today. Excuse me, sir. No, this is kind of like uh, What was your name? Michael. Michael. Michael here is the one that that uh, designs these, cuts them, sews them, all the nine, whole nine yards. So I noticed on the transmitter, yep. the uh, throttle ignites the tanks right. or the, the burner. Yeah. It, what other options do you have on the transmitter? So it depends on how many burners we put. On our left stick, on these baskets, left stick and down gives you remote pilot light, so it, re it relights your pilots if they blow out. Oh, okay. And then on the right stick, uh, right aileron gives you right burner and up elevator gives you left burner and then up elevator and right aileron gives you both <laughs> so there's a lot to it actually yeah. as far as the and the way we do the way matt and i matt and i build these together the way they, that way that we designed ours a lot of people will use a valve with a servo but we have two separate solenoid valves under each burner so we can control them individually oh okay very interesting you know i've I've heard about them, but I've never seen them. Yeah. So. The next steps are to probably add valves to be able to turn off the pilot lights remotely as well. So you can turn them on or turn them off. So shut off the flow of gas. That way we can free fly. 
Oh, because cool. that's the one thing, right? If you're if you're free flying and you land somewhere, the only thing you can't shut off is your pilot lights. Oh. So you always have those torch heads inside the burner cans, just like a real balloon, right? Right. Always lit. Oh. Okay. So as a safety thing, we want to add that. So. And here comes the rain. <laughs> I don't think it'll last very long, Sky. It'll dry out too. So you can control it left, right, up, and down then, right? You can only control left burner, right burner, okay. and then wherever the breeze takes you. So okay, you obviously, because there's only two burners, right? right? Okay. So you don't really have any directional control other than the wind. I think it's probably better to keep it up, Sky. <laughs> Getting the rain now. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna last very long. I think it is. Look how dark those are. Well, if those come this way, but they're moving north. Yeah, they are. So oh, there's, there's a, a favorite way of deflating. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's cool. So that one over there is deflating. Um missing out on it, but anyway, I got I got some of it. <laughs> So a lot of them, most of our designs, like this one has a full rip out Velcro top. So if you go pull the red cord, it'll pull the top completely out. Mm. The one we had up earlier has an actual like parachute vent top, just like a real balloon. No. So you can vent a little and then it'll reset. Mm. But on this design, on a full size Cameron Viva, like a full size hot air balloon, there's enough pressure in the balloon to hold a parachute top in. But when we scale them down like this, the problem is you get less pressure in the balloon. Yeah. And the way the top of this one is with the design, it doesn't get enough pressure in the top of the balloon to hold the top shut. So we decide we just do Velcro in these ones. I, uh, if you want, Sky, you can bring it back over. I get a little windy here. I think so. The clouds let out some energy, and now they're going to move. So it sprinkled a little bit here, and now the winds are picking up a bit. But, you know, we got some good video of this. You know, talking to these people it's it's a little more detailed is you know as far as controlling these things you know they there's a lot to it as far as the transmitter and everything goes so you just heard it here I can't imagine sitting at a sewing machine for however many hours at a time, a total of 40 hours to, to sew one of these things together, but, you know, this guy does really, really good work. I can, I can see in the quality. to see one go up actually 500 feet but I don't think they're going to with the wind here today but we'll see at any rate I'm gonna end this clip signing off stars and stripes thanks for watching <laughs>